a bunch of people asked for a tutorial on screen mirroring today, so I'm going to go over that. First go to media, scroll down to screen mirroring, click on it. Make sure your phone has smart view. That's the easiest way to do it. Slide down from the top, click on smart view, turn it on. It's gonna ask you what you wanna to pair to. I already have it saved, it's my car. Click on it, click start now. It'll take a second. It will automatically pop up on the screen. Anything you do on your phone will be mirrored on the car. Sound works. And now if you have it coded, which I do, you can be in drive and it will still play on the screen. I bought this phone, I think it was $160. It's a Samsung A11. I believe it's the cheapest Android phone you could get that has the smart view on it. Um, it's actually a not a bad phone. I haven't had any issues with it. It's a little bit slower than if you're used to a high-end phone like an iPhone or uh, one of the expensive Androids. But other than that, it works perfect. I literally bought it just to leave it. It fits perfectly into the tray down here. It does not have smart charging. I mean, wireless charging. That's the only thing I would say would be better, but my car did not come with it. I know they make a retrofit kit. Um, that would probably be the only other thing I would option for if I could get a phone that has the wireless charging so you could just throw it right here on the mat as it's playing your YouTube video. But other than that, I think the screen mirroring is awesome. You can do it with your iPhone with coding. The problem is your iPhone has to be jailbroken and I'm not really into that. Um, constantly you have to update it and if your phone updates it loses the jailbreak so I said screw it for $160 I would rather just take the shot works perfectly fine never had any issues with it so obviously other than YouTube any app on your phone literally anything that's on your phone screen could be mirrored straight to your car so constantly watch movies I mean there's a bunch of free apps I also have all the paid apps but yeah never an issue it, not all movies will be the complete full screen but it's big enough to definitely enjoy it I mean I've been watching movies and driving for a bunch of years now I had a few other cars that you have to actually put a patch harness in but this is the easiest one so far where you can just get a phone, do a simple code, and it pops up. There's two different sizes on the screen. You go into the smart view and it'll say phone aspect ratio, and you can choose full screen on phone or full screen on connected device. If you put it on full screen on connected device, it's a little bit larger. It's most of the screen, honestly. I don't see any issue with it. But yeah, that's pretty much screen mirroring. It works flawless. Samsung A11, $150 device. No issue. It takes a USB-C charger. It comes with it in the box. You can plug it in right here, charge your phone. Yeah, that's about it.